mission was lost. Astronaut and cosmonauts are now trying to repair the damage. Andrew Simmons has the latest. Michael Fold and two Russian cosmonauts were trying to manually dock a cargo ship to Mir when the collision happened. The nine-ton progress craft crashed into a scientific module which is attached to Mir's main section. These are pictures of damage caused to solar panelling on the module. Russian space officials say there was a loss of air pressure in the section, but the crew are safe. It's reported that Michael Fall, who reached the space station in May, is handling the situation calmly. He and the cosmonauts have sealed off the damaged section, which included his living quarters. The Mir is made up of six interlocking modules. It was here in the Spectre module where Calamity struck. Space officials say there are no plans for evacuation, but a Soyuz escape craft is always on constant standby. Mr. Fall's mother at home in Cambridge is keeping calm. It appears that this was this was a un very unfortunate accident, which I'm sure they're very upset about, but it isn't uh, life-threatening. The Mir program has been dogged by technical problems, but this is the worst. Experts say if evacuation is necessary, it would be disastrous. And if they have to abandon it, we've got another problem. What are they going to do with it? It'll take it several years to decay naturally, but can they dismantle it? Can they deorbit it piece by piece? Or are we going to have 100 tons of stuff coming in somewhere where we don't know where? When Michael Fall set off for Mir, the man known as Mr. Fixit had said he always looked forward to things not going to plan. He now has a big challenge. Andrew Simmons, ITN. Next on the early 